President Yoon was briefed on policies concerning science, technology, and nuclear power. The Science Ministry plans to upgrade its space program, while the Nuclear Safety and Security Commission seeks to revive the sector. Shin se brings the highlights from that session. South Korea's Ministry of Science and ICT, a Nuclear Safety and Security Commission on Wednesday, presented their policy plans for the upcoming year to President Yoon. There, President Yoon spoke of the importance of science and technology as they form the basis of all industries. Science to foster science technologies, AI and digitalization, the Science Ministry unveiled three key strategies. First, the ministry will look to set up a Korean version of NASA in the second half of 2023 to carry out exploration projects on the Moon and Mars. And the third launch of South Korea's first homegrown space rocket, Nudi, is expected for the first half of next year. Also, the government seeks to create a 50 trillion won, or roughly $40 billion fund, to give financial support to homegrown space startups. Second, the ministry plans to inject 25 trillion won, or around $20 billion, into R&D for the next five years. This will promote and maintain growth momentum in influential and emerging sectors in both the private and public sectors. Lastly, the ministry will promote artificial intelligence and digitalization across all sectors. Under the scheme, the government will establish a special secondary school for AI education. Also, it will broaden the 5G network and free 5G Wi-Fi services will be available on 25,000 public buses next year, up 60 times from the current number. Meanwhile, the Nuclear Safety and Security Commission's plans prioritize safety and promote trust in nuclear power plant operations. The sector has only recently regained its growth momentum after the previous administration aimed to phase out nuclear power. With the UN administration aiming to boost operations and exports of nuclear power plants, the Commission will ensure the safety of the country's existing reactors while thoroughly reviewing construction permits for new ones. Also, it plans to accelerate the development of small module reactors that are deemed as the future of nuclear energy. As for the planned release of the contaminated water from Japan's wrecked Fukushima nuclear power plant in the first half of next year, the NSSC vows to strengthen the monitoring of water and marine products for possible radioactivity. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.